hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you all are doing well if you're new here my name is nikki and here i just talk about all things nail polish so make sure you hit that subscribe button so don't miss any good content coming your way in today's video i'm going to be doing a little nail polish confessional tag i made for myself called confessions of a nail polish addict these are just 10 questions i've asked myself about you know my habits what i do what i don't do so yeah and i thought it'd be really fun to just answer a few of these for you guys um if you're not shy and you want to join in let me know or if you just want to leave some comments down so i know what you're thinking about these questions feel free so let's just get into it so the first question is how many polishes do you currently have in your collection so i have about a little over okay first let me start <laughs> i'm not embarrassed to say that i did a spreadsheet about this because since last fall, my nail polish question has been growing a little bit. So right now I have a little bit over 600, but it was a lot more at the beginning of this year. So it's not terrible. I have been de-stashing or giving away a few. So, and adding a few, but I made a rule. I said, if I buy one, I got to give away two and I've been doing pretty well. So yeah, anyway, so that's a little over 600. <laughs> The next question is, are you guilty of buying polishes and not swatching them for months? Guilty as charged. Yes, I do this too often. Guys, I still haven't even swatched ILMP's Eclipse and that came out last fall. So, yeah, I take a while to swatch polishes. I don't know what it is. I think it's just, I create a rack and then I just want to get through that rack first. So when new polishes come in, I kind of just put them to the back burner because I just want to focus on that first. <laughs> even if they're at, like... The peak of its hype i guess because that polish is very hyped up and i have swatched it on a swatch wheel it's absolutely beautiful i just haven't swatched it on my nails yet but you know it happens it happens but i am getting through my collection it's one thing i really want to like do with my collection not buy so much and just utilize what i already have so yes i do have issues not swatching them right away i never used to be like that i used to swatch them all the time but then after getting so many it just kind of gets overwhelming and you just kind of forget about what you have but yeah that's hopefully nail polish change i want nail polish go i want to change so yeah question number three is do you break your no buy often okay so this is the thing ever since i found out about polish pickup last november yes i've been breaking my no buy often absolutely because it's like this deep deep rabbit hole i've fallen in and i can't get out can't find the light really so um but ever since about finding about it in november so that's almost a year now um i haven't purchased too much only about four times so it's not terrible and i do try to keep it within the shipping range so i mean I feel like I get things that I need, like nail essentials, nail basics, little nail tools that I like. So, yes, right now I do break my no buy often. But I haven't bought anything from Polish Pickup for a while. So, not since. Okay, not since August. But I mean, I didn't make any purchases for September. I'm not making any for October, so it's not terrible. <laughs> So question number four is, do you have trouble de-stashing your polishes? No, because I love getting rid of stuff. And especially since I have so many, I don't mind giving things away that I'm not going to wear. Like when I, usually when you wear a polish once, you kind of decide if it works for your skin tone or if it doesn't. If it does, you keep it. If it doesn't, you usually give it away. Or if you just want to keep it, that's fine too. But I really don't have issues getting rid of things. What I have issue with is shipping because I do live in Canada and it's hard to ship polishes within canada because it is expensive and i find just within the states it's cheaper because they usually have deals like oh you pay for the one polish and you pay four dollars for that shipping and then it's 50 cents for each additional polish that you add to the order with here i feel like it's only cheap when you do stamp shipping and even that can get expensive because you know it's just shipping is just not cheap in general anymore so it's not that i have trouble getting rid of stuff it's just the amount i have to spend to get rid of it so next question is, what do you think about going cruelty free? So I've been thinking about this for a while. Um, I'm not, right now I'm not cruelty free because I do have SEs and OPIs in my collection. And a lot of the SEs are near and dear to my heart because it's like the first nail polish brand I started collecting and the colors are beautiful, like without a doubt, gorgeous. So right now, <laughs> 
I'm kind of I'm kind of like Switzerland I'm neutral like I don't I'm not for it but I'm not against it and but I do hear I have heard that SE is taking some steps to become cruelty free which is amazing I haven't heard much too much about OPI but I know Zoya is or at least they're like about eight free or something like that and um China Glaze is as well so yeah I'm um I have slowed down with buying my Essies and my OPIs because I just have been gravitating towards Essies more and haven't really been finding too many. There's not too many unique shades in indie, sorry, in mainstream brands. So when I'm mostly buying for them, it's like the unique finishes, the ones that do look like indies. So I'm 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 Switzerland about going cruelty free. <laughs> So next question is, what's the first thing you look for in nail polish before purchasing? So right now, currently, <laughs> I always check my collection for dupes. Um, just because I don't want to buy the same polishes. I've done that before, not too many times, but it has happened a few times. And it's like, oh, like, why, why? And then you really have to think about what am I doing? What am I doing? Am I even looking? Like, what? Am, why am I buying the same polishes? Like, why? So, um, yeah, I try to look for subtle nuances that I don't have or things and polishes I'm trying to collect like matte black glitters I'm trying to click um, polishes with that or any type of subtle nuances like red holographic sparkle I don't see that too much in polishes so things like that or colors that I don't have a lot of in my collection like grays browns I don't gravitate towards reds too much because they kind of make my hands look big but yeah so that's basically just the first thing I look for like matte black glitters like all those holographic red sparkles and um anything that's not a dupe <laughs> next question uh, yeah anything that's not a dupe um so next question is have you ever have you ever had a polish break in transition to you thankfully i have not that has never happened to me but i have had polishes break like once they got to me like if i put i put a few polishes on a rack and it wasn't sturdy enough, so unfortunately the rack fell and three bottles broke. Two of them I had tried before, but one of them I hadn't, so I was pretty, I was pretty sad. Like, <laughs> it got all over my carpet. It was just a mess. But, I mean, is what it is. It's all good. But at least none, at least nothing's ever broken coming to me. So that's been nice. But I have had polishes break in general, of course. I think everybody has. And if you haven't, you are lucky. <laughs> so next question is... um. When you break your nails, do you trim the rest down? So I have a couple rules about this for myself. So when my nails are all long, like all five of them, and one breaks, I won't trim them down just because it doesn't bother me if one is short because I can still take pretty decent nail picks, kind of hide it in a way depending on which one breaks, and it still looks decent. But let's say like, even if two of them break, I won't trim it down. But three is my limit. Three is definitely my limit because it just looks uneven. It looks weird. Especially if you take nail picks, it just looks weird. And you, and it's nice when your nails are all the same length. They don't have to be, but it's nice when it looks that way. But it doesn't bother me if they aren't. I'm not like, I'm just like, oh, maybe it does a little bit for the pictures. But I mean, if one is short and the rest are long, I'm, I'll be a-okay. But if more than three break, I guess I trim all of them down, all 10 of them. Yeah. <laughs> Ninth question up is, do you buy a whole collection if you, even if you don't like all the colors just to have it complete? I do not do this just because I don't really see a point. Usually if I don't buy the whole collection, it means I have colors in my uh, collection that are already, you know, dupable. So it's very overwhelming to have untried polishes in your collection or just repeated like, um repeated colors like it's very overwhelming and for me I just pick out what I like in the collection and you know love it so I feel like there's no need to go a bit overboard in buying all collections unless you're just a collector unless you just it won't be complete if you don't have it I totally get it I get it but for me it's not necessary <laughs> the last question is and one of the funniest in my opinion is if a polish name is a bit off will you not buy it yeah, I just, I can't. If, um, let's say if someone asks me, and I think of, when I think about weird polish names, I think about Bees Knees Lacquer mostly. Because a lot of her collections are based off of um, films, TV shows, and they're all based on horror uh, mainly. So, I remember she came with the polish or a few, and one of them was 
murderous little creature. And I, I just can imagine saying that to somebody like, oh, what's that polish you're wearing? What brand? I just tell them the brand. It's called Murderous Little Creatures. They'd be like, what? Because <laughs> it's a little weird. And I just can imagine saying it and not feeling weird about it. Like I have one polish here from Polish Pickup that came out in December. Came back for Rewind this year in July. But this is Femme Fatale. And I'm just going to put the name down here. Um... Yeah, I just, I haven't worn this yet, but I'm sure when I do, or if, or when I do, if someone asks me, I'm just going to be like, yeah, it's from this brand, Ben Patel, and it just, that's just what it is. So, yeah, I don't think I would, yeah, it's just a little weird saying names that are just a little bit off. It's a little weird, but, you know, oh, I just love it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, those are my 10 questions. Let me know if you would like to answer any of them in the comments below. <laughs> Hope you found this video entertaining like I did. Has my, has entertaining as I found filming and answering these questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it and I appreciate you. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care.